We have a medical alert tonight. Breast implants linked to a rare form of cancer, the Food and Drug Administration says. It has received reports of more than 350 cases and nine deaths from ALCL. This is concerning where they was first raised by the FDA back in 2011, but the agency said then that there were no, you know, few cases to know if there was a connection to all this. And the disease seems to occur from other or often with textured implants. Whether silicone or sil saline doesn't seem to matter. In many cases, when the lymphoma occurs, removing the implant and the tissue around it eliminates the disease. But some women may still need chemotherapy and radiation. And that's why we bring in the best. Here he is, Dr. Michael Cohen from Belcara Health Plastics. You've been doing this how many years now, doctor? Uh, this year is 20 years. 20 years. You have a sample here. What's... So in your right hand, it's what? This is a smooth gel implant, and this is a textured gel implant. No problems with the smooth? So far to date, no confirmed cases of ALCL in the smooth, smooth variety. In the textured variety, there have been the reported cases worldwide. Of all the women that come into you, anybody have a problem? We haven't yet had a problem with that. Uh, if there's ever anybody that has any concern, there are steps that plastic surgeons should take to establish a diagnosis. Um, so far, we have not had anybody that's had symptoms very close to uh, uh, concerning, and if they did, we would act accordingly. Now, you said the FDA's been working on this for a long time. Well, since 1997, they've known about cases worldwide, gathered a registry of patients, and to date, in the United States, as reported by the FDA, there was 356 cases reported since 1997, gathering that, that data. Now, do women get a choice of which one they want to put in? Absolutely. They have a choice between silicone and saline. Most patients these days are preferring silicone. They've been re-engineered. This is the fourth and fifth generation of implant that's out. We feel that it's a very safe implant. And when I say we, I'm talking about plastic surgeons that are members of the American Society for Plastic Surgeons and the American Society for Aesthetic Plastic Surgery. So we believe that they're safe. We continue to follow these, these patients in these registries. We ask all the plastic surgeons if there's any suspicion for a, a case, a suspected case or a confirmed case to register those patients so they could be followed. As a, a part of those deaths, a lot of those patients um, were never uh, operated on, were never treated, mm -hmm. and ended up letting that uh, disease process go to an end stage. If it's diagnosed early, it's extremely treatable and it's very, very rare in the, in the first place. All right, you've got great bedside manner, so talk right. to the women that are watching right now and what would you advise them to do tonight? Yeah. I would say if a patient has breast implants, don't fear, don't worry. Look for signs of change. This occurs late in the game. This is often associated with having breast implants for many years and if they notice an acute change, swelling, pain, lumps, obviously they're going to get it checked out. They're going to see their GYN. They're going to examine themselves regularly. Hopefully every month they're examining themselves and doing a good breast exam. They're going to call their plastic surgeon, their OBGYN, and say, I think I suspect a problem. If they catch it early, there's plenty of stuff to do in that uh, diagnostic realm. Okay, I interviewed him 80 years ago, and you're still good. Thank you very much. Happy birthday on Saturday, by the way. Thank you very, very much. Very 